footy talk settings. Lewis, bruv, what is the deal, bruv? Nothing that hasn't been the deal for the last five, six, seven weeks or whatever. Nothing changes with us. Nothing changes. I think now I've just mentally signed out of everything. The only game that I really cared about was the Arsenal game because I was hoping we'd do something with their title race, but conceded three goals in 15 minutes. Shouldn't have expected anything different. I don't care now. We're, the road to 40 points is too long. I don't care about it anymore. We're probably not getting 40 points anyway. So whatever. We're in limbo. We're in straight limbo. We've got a manager that's an idiot. We've got players that are on the beach, and even before they were on the beach, they could only play well for 30 minutes. Mm. Fans no, don't get shit anymore. We were doing the Solomon Kalu chant in the away end for about 20 minutes straight after we were going <laughs> down. Nobody cares anymore. We all just want this season done with. We all just want it finished, and there's still another five games left to go. We're going to drop to 14th this weekend. Bruv, how have you, bruv, a man said you got City, United and Newcastle in the next five, your last five games, and you've got them. That's three. our last three. Jeez. In the, in the same week. No. It's it's long. The only two games we can win is Bournemouth and Forest, and I don't think we'll win either of them. They've got more to fight for than we do, because realistically, I know we can go down, but it's like a 1% chance we're not going to go down. Bournemouth, they're at a risk of going down. Um, what's his name? Wolves, they're more of a risk of going down than we are. They've yeah. got more to play for. We're on the beach. Bournemouth are going to care more about that game on the weekend than we will. I think they've got a better record than we do. I think they've scored more goals than we do. We don't even like going to that ground when we're good, let alone when we're shit. Yeah, it's like, what? Obviously, you go to the games. What are the What's the general feeling about what Lampard's doing at Chelsea right now? I, th I think, like, this should never have been a debate in the first place. But I think even the most, like, deluded of Chelsea fans who think, yeah, you know what, give it to Super Frank and all of that. Ain't going to be too bad. I think there's a universal understanding that now, brother ain't it, leave it, it is what it is. But we got nothing to fight for. So it's mm. like, we can't even be angry. Oh, we're not going to make top four. We're not going to make top seven. It was done before Lampard took over. Sure. It's got worse, but Chelsea games are just a link up now. Spend more time in the concourse than you even do in the ground. <laughs> I'd rather just get a pint, watch the game on the screen. And I'm not going to have shit from home fans for 90 minutes. That's crazy. Nobody bro. cares did... anymore, bro. Why do Chelsea cares? fans need a second stint of Lampard yeah, to, to realize that he weren't, he weren't it? He showed you in the first one. No, we knew we weren't it in terms of taking us to a title race or anything like that. And, like, that's fine. I, I got that. My whole thing was, I've seen Graham Potter be a fucking idiot for six months. Lampard's meant to be watching Chelsea in that time as well because they're a Chelsea yeah. fan and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it would get worse. But he, he is beyond even Graham Potter's level of stupid. Like, he won't play, he won't play the likes of Jal Felix or Mudrick, because he wants better off-the-ball work rate, because mm. he wants better defensive work rate. A and then he'll play um, Sterling on the left. Like, like figure that one out. And then he'll say, don't want to play Jao Felix because maybe he's not a nine. I need a nine for the way I want to play. Wherever his future is, I don't know that. What What is the way you want to play, bro? Because I don't get it. <laughs> what is the way you want to play? That's the killer. Like, That's the killer for me. In the press conference, the one yeah. thing I thought he had over Potter was the press conferences. And he's just, he, he just straight lies. Potter just sounds deluded. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Lampard is like, what are you even watching? What are you watching? I don't know, man. Rob, you know, know. Me. Good thing this Lampard ain't got no tactics, bro. Like, he's doing the Brexit thing, saying I'm not going to play, like the Mudricks of this world and the um, Joao Felixes of this world and I'm going to do the Gallagher false nine thing and the Mason Mount thing, yeah, and the Raheem Sterling. But it stinks, bruv. You know what I mean? It absolutely stinks. You remember, bruv, you needed one point to get to mm -hmm. 40 points for so long. Like, bruv, well, I've heard a man talk about 40 points for so Bro, long. our last point was in mid-March. Our last point. We didn't even win in April. 
I don't think we drew in April. No, we had one draw. Sorry, tell a lie. One point since March. One point since mid-March. We got one at least. And that weren't even with Lampard or Potter. It was with Bruno Salto. <laughs> That's where we are. Lampard's the guy who gave Brentford too much respect. To the point yeah. where Thomas Frank came out and said we were surprised the level of respect they showed us. Yeah, you could and Lampard it. thought, cool, I'm going to show second place in the league Arsenal. Fuck all respect instead then and play a back four. Mm. All right, cool. Because we're so good in a back four. You see the first two goals we conceded. Two goals edge of the box because we don't have a DM there. I identical goals as well. Exactly. Because it's fucking piss easy to play against us. I remember saying this to like the league gunner to troops all in the previews before the game. Bro, I get you lot are in shit form and everything like that. We are Dr. Chelsea. You will watch Chelsea and in 45 minutes, you will deep how fucking shit we are. We are here to help teams that are out of form. Arsenal, winless in five. There you go, mate. Brentford um, <laughs> not, haven't had a win in April. There you go, mate. Fucking, I don't know. You lot, you guys will spank four or five past us. City, that'll be another five or six. Newcastle, it depends on the mood they're in. Yeah, the you lot going to hand City the title, blood. You know, that's what you're going to yeah, do. God willing. God willing. I'll yeah. be there celebrating when they score against us because what the fuck am I there for? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to link flawless after the game and chill. It's the only reason why I'm going up. Yes, that's all it is now. It's a link up. Yeah, it, bruv. It's, it's that though. You're right. You're hundred percent right. But it's just it's it's a very strange thing, man. Like, what? I guess is the Pochettino thing done now? Because obviously, like, it was getting hot and then it went cold a bit. But I haven't heard anything. What well, I'm guessing is done. Um, like, what's Chelsea? Like, what do you do from now? Because like I was saying, Potter was meant to be the project manager. You lot were talking about projects, and then that project got scrapped. Mm -hmm. You've spent a lot of money with him, spent a, month, a lot of money with Tuchel. Do you bring in Pochettino, yeah? Is it a project manager or is it a he has to win now manager? Is he going to get the same amount of money that the other two got? Like, because surely, like, you, man, have about 40 men in your squad. You can't buy, again, like, eight men. Like, you physically cannot. I think we're going to sell first before we buy anyway. Like, as soon as the season's done, we're apparently going to start working on outgoings. Likes of maybe Mount, Gallagher, especially the Cobham graduates first. But I do think he's going to be given time. I do think it's another project appointment. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about him being rushed into getting results or anything. I think the main aim for him next season will be top four in a cup. And top four is a bare minimum. Um yeah, I don't know what's happening on the Pochettino front, though, because we haven't heard anything in a week. Six days ago, Fabrizio said the deal was imminent. That's it. You haven't heard anything since then. I think they're still in talks. Chelsea are just taking their time with it. And, like, it's a little bit worrying just because there's a couple questions about Todd Bowley and the whole board and everything. We fumbled managers already. It feels like we're fumbling another one. Yeah, because I thought it was just him, but then someone said that there's another guy, and he's the guy that wanted Lampard in. So, like, I thought it was a one man show. Yeah, whoever the fuck that is, bro. I don't know. Um, yeah, is. it's Bowley and Igbali, but I think Bowley's like, he's like the head, and then Igbali's like second in command. They kind of work together, and they've got like their own little board of football heads, like um, Joe Shields, Paul and Stanley, couple of other names I can't remember for the life of me, but. Yeah, I, I don't know what's taking so long with this Poch situation, but we haven't heard anything bad yet. There hasn't been any issues like Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann, we heard that he'd pulled out of the race. Um, Enrique, we heard Chelsea had dropped interest in him. Um, who else? That's all off the top of my head. But like we've heard when ma when managers yeah. have fallen out of the race. We haven't yeah. we just haven't heard anything. All that says to me is Chelsea are just taking their time with it and. I guess it's whatever. I feel like I'm now at a point where, you know what, I would rather just rush Pochettino into the job because I could see this getting worse. I don't know what worse is because we can't go down, but we're going to keep sliding down the table. We, we could be 14th by the end of the week. Yeah, but then with about five games left, there's no point in Poch coming in now because it's like, come in to do what, bro? You know what I mean, if I'm Pochettino, I'll be at the training ground just overseeing training 
like seeing the player's attitude, seeing who's training hard, seeing who I think potentially I could do what with, who I want to keep and who I don't want to keep. But I ain't putting my name on that. <laughs> I'm saying. I think it's just a case like you just want someone with a bit of sense in charge mm. because Potter makes no sense. Lampard made less sense. Bruno did all right. I wouldn't have minded keeping Bruno the way things have gone, but he wanted to leave with Potter is what it is. I think Pochettino would just give us a little bit of stability, even if we probably only won one or two games. Be better mm. than what we've been seeing for the last month or two. 